Thank you, Leslie. There were 365 million open credit card accounts in the U.S. as of the end of 2020. According to data released in May of 2021 by the American Bankers Association, the average American household's credit card balance just over $5,300. Now, that's according to Experian. But what does a financial advisor have to say about credit cards? We talked to one tonight in an all-new Money Talks. Dave Ramsey famously says your children don't need a credit card. Certified financial advisor Rolandis Johnson calls them a double-edged sword and can see the pros and the cons of having a credit card. Credit cards are great to have for emergency uses or, uh, you know, for, for building credit. Now, sometimes when you're, you're young or even when you're old, like, like, you know, you get up in age, you may forget to pay or you don't pay or situations may happen. Um, what happens is it starts to, to, to tug at your credit a little bit. And when it tugs at your credit and you start to get that, you know, that, that um, you, don't, you never want to get a reputation of not being able to pay things. And there is a consequence for not paying on time or not paying your minimum monthly balance. And that consequence could directly affect your future. And so what you end up losing in the, in the long run in the future is purchasing power. So like to, to buy homes and cars and, you know, get good rates and, and discounts on those things. Um, credit cards help you build that reputation and not paying them, you know, could be detrimental. It's also important to build a relationship with your credit card company as they might give you a mulligan if it's just a once in a while mistake. But I think with a lot of the consequences now with a lot of the credit cards, there's, you know, some some of them have if you miss a payment here, they'll forgive you so forth, so forth. Um, and that's going to all depend on the different credit card companies and banks that you that you work with. One thing that those carrying credit card debt from month to month have noticed for sure is that those with variable rates are seeing their interest amount and bills rise as the Fed has raised interest rates. But there are quite a few cards out there that will have a variable rate. And so if interest rates go up, guess what? Your rate goes up for your card or, you know, any, anytime you're, you're looking for loan products at this point in time, the rates are going to be a little bit higher than what we're, we've been used to over the last four or five years. So, sure. And what's happening recently with credit card debt? Well, it now totals $860 billion at the end of last year, climbing a little bit. Still down, though, from the $893 billion in January of 2020, right before the pandemic shutdown. But as a country, we are up $40 billion this year alone, so Americans are living on credit a little more once again.